We have some more information on the tragic death of Pastor Nick Davi that occurred on December 29th in what was described as a dispute or a disagreement of some kind with a neighbor. We'll get into all the details here in just a second. Welcome everybody to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you as always that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, well, it's kind of my only option. I want to get into this because, it, you know, when I talked about this at the time, there was a lot of questions uh, with very few answers, to be perfectly honest with you, for Pastor Nick Davi of Grace Point Church in the Las Vegas area. And, you know, this was incredibly tragic because, you know, when you first heard about it, you know, it was said that Nick Davi was shot by his neighbor over a disagreement. And, and you think to yourself, what disagreement, you know, could have led to, you know, him being killed over? I mean, we know that evil is just abounding in this world right now like never before, and it's all a sign of the times. We know this. But Pastor Ty Neal of Grace Point Church, he spoke a little bit more about this in a recent service and, you know, just talked about, you know, please keep the Davi family in your prayers for Nick's wife, Sarah, and their children. And for Pastor Ty Neal, he also lived in the same community. Uh, there where uh, the Davi family lived. Um, and he described, you know, you know, when you hear a noise like, you know, it sounds like a gunshot. I mean, it could be, you know, a, could be a car. It could be, you know, fireworks, whatever the case. And that was a community, too, that was not used to violence. It was actually quite a safe community. And so when the news of what happened with Pastor Nick Davi happened, I mean, this just took this entire community, just it, it stunned them, to be perfectly honest, because they weren't expecting this at all. But we got a little bit more information as far as, you know, what potentially led up to this so-called disagreement. Now, this was apparently something that was ongoing for months. Whatever this was between the Davi family and the shooter, who, of course, was arrested and uh, by the name of Joe Junio. And this, you know, apparently was something that had escalated to where... Junio was allegedly like throwing rocks and, and other items, uh, you know, at the home of the Davi family, uh, this back and forth with them. And apparently right before the shooting took place, the Davi family was actually, you know, gathering up some of their things and they were going to leave their home. So I guess there was this, you know, interaction or whatever. And, and Junio was out there yelling at them or whatever the case, they were going to get out of the house and, Upon trying to leave, this is where more of the confrontation happened and when Junio shot Nick Davi right there. Now, another thing that we did not know is that Nick's wife, Sarah, actually disarmed Junio and prevented any more damage from being done. So we don't, I mean, it seemed here like Junio was intent with trying to take out the whole family, but good on Sarah. She jumped in here, and I didn't know this previously, but she jumped in here and, you know, disarmed the shooter uh, and, and was able to, to hold the shooter back until the police got there. I mean, that's I mean, amazing. And I would even said here, she said that her, you know, her mama bear instincts kicked in uh, because she didn't, you know, know at that time, you know, whether her husband was going to be okay or not. It was just about stopping uh, Junio here before any more damage could be done. So, you know, we still don't know the extent of what was it that Junio had, you know, against the Davi family. You know, was there a longer history here between the two? Did they know each other prior to them, you know, moving into the community? That we still don't know. Uh, what I can tell you is that there will be a memorial service for Nick Davi. Now, that is scheduled to be held on January 15th, it will be at Grace Point Church. They're expecting about a thousand people there, you know, in attendance for this, but they will also be uh, live streaming it on their YT channel for those that aren't able to make it. 
uh, Nick was just somebody who impacted so many in his community. He was basically the operational pastor. He, you know, he ran everything there at Grace Point, and he was deeply loved and respected by all within his community. And you know, again, they're still going to need your prayers uh, as they are still dealing with this loss. I welcome any of you who may have some thoughts on on Nick Davi, uh, especially if you are a member of Grace Point Church and you knew him personally. If there's anything you'd like to share about him, please feel free uh, to leave uh, anything you'd like in the comment section. And also, too, if you're planning on attending the memorial service, you can let us know as well, or even after the fact, uh, you can feel free to um, just share uh, how it was and, um, you know, just the good work that Nick did. I mean, there is no doubt he is now in heaven. He is with Jesus, but he had much more to do. Uh, this was way before his time. So uh, again, I encourage you to keep the Davi family in your prayers uh, for peace and comfort as they still deal with uh, what has been an incredibly tragic loss. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we are in the last days, really the final hours, and Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you are somebody who has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer that you could do in your own words, but I will give you the, the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world, as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Prayers again going out to the entire Davi family uh, and everybody as well at Grace Point Church that God would be with you all and bring you peace and comfort at this time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.